and welcome. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ananya Dutta and with me is Hem Korsaroya, my colleague. We are here with our rolling coverage of the India elections that the we are seeing the vote count today, of course, since 8 a.m. local time. Let's get you the headlines at this hour. Uttar Pradesh is at the top of the list if of shocking trends on counting day. The India bloc is just slightly ahead of the BJP-led NDA and the NDA and India bloc, which includes the Samajwadi Party and the Congress, are engaged in a titanic neck-and-neck -neck struggle. The big surprise is the heartland state of Uttar Pradesh, which has seen, which has been the BJP's stronghold in the previous two elections. Congressman Kishori Lal Sharma, a supporter of the Gandhi family, has been gaining ground on BJP Smithy Irani in Uttar Pradesh's Amethi. Rahul Gandhi is leading in Raibareli. Among swing states, the BJP is trailing in West Bengal, sliding from even its score of 18 seats in 2019. The story is same in Maharashtra and Haryana and is yet to open. An account in Punjab. In Andhra Pradesh, the Chandrababu Naidu led TDP is leading three hours into counting of votes for assembly elections. In Odisha, BJP has taken a lead over the ruling BJD in assembly elections. Clashes erupted in West Bengal in Uttar Pradesh as poll results seem to defy exit polls. BJP and Samajwadi Party workers clash outside Rambai Ambedkar polling venue in Lucknow. Meanwhile, TMC and BJP workers clash in Bishnupur. It's a bloodbath in the Indian markets. All sectors in the red, Nifty and Sensex break crucial levels with Nifty taking over 8% and the Sensex crashing as much as 6,000 points. Investors brace for more pain as election outcome enters a decisive leg amid trends defying exit polls. Let's get you some global news as well. U.S. President Joe Biden is expected to announce steps to close the Mexican border to asylum seekers when numbers surge. In a bid to tackle a key weak spot in his election battle with Donald Trump. The mayor of a town in western Mexico is killed barely 24 hours after Claudia Sheinbaum was elected the Latin American country's first woman president. The United States insists that the ball is in Hamas's court on whether to accept a new Gaza peace proposal despite mixed signals from Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister reflecting turmoil within his governing coalition in Israel. Taiwan's Defense Ministry said Tuesday it had detected 23 Chinese aircraft around the island in a window of less than three hours.